The amount of fishing gear that I have can almost be overwhelming at times. That's why today we are actually doing the minimalist fishing challenge. Essentially, I've only got a couple hours of fish because it's gonna be raining a lot today and I'm gonna wanna be able to pick up and leave quickly. So what I'm doing is I've got one rod and I've got a limited assortment of gear. It's pretty much all stuff for a Ned Rig, so I'm pretty much gonna be throwing the Ned Rig the entire time. And I just wanna see how I can put it to work. Maybe just dumbing it down and making it a lot more simple will actually pay off. Sometimes we as bass fishermen can overthink things. Regardless, enough yipping and yapping. Let's get out there and start casting and blasting. Let's do this thing. Let's go. No net, no fish finder, no nothing. No problems either. It's time to get juicy. It's time to get fishy. It's time to have a good old time. Sometimes keeping it super simple is the best thing you can possibly do. I'm gonna start with this perfect perch colored TRD. There's a lot of perch and bluegill in this lake. I think that the bass are gonna absolutely hammer it. Very overcast today. We've been getting a lot of rain over the last 24 hours. We're gonna continue to get rain throughout the day. It's gonna be an interesting day, but I think that the bass are gonna be hammering this thing. It feels so weird not having more rods behind me. This is all the tackle that I brought, way more than I'll actually need. I could have literally brought one pack of jig heads and one um, pack of worms, but it was just quicker just to grab the entire bag. Second cast, and I'm on, just on the dead stick. No net today, no net, no problem. Looky there, folks. Second cast, and we already got one. I will take that any day of the week. Back to the water. So that was just on a nice dead stick. I was just readjusting my kayak, picked up my rod, and he was there. There he is. I snapped it out of the grass, and he just hammered it. About the same size as the last one. Man, they're fighting super hard right now. They are fighting so hard. He choked it. Oh, that works. Easy release. So that fish brings up a really good point. I snapped it out of the grass and he hammered it on that. That can be a great way to get reaction bites. So when you have it buried in the grass, no matter what you're throwing, snap it out hard and the fish will often bite it. There he is. I knew there'd be a fish on that dock. Oh, that's not the right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I literally just had on a tiger muskie. It was really small. I just lost a bucketless fish. That was a tiger muskie, about mm, 14 inches. Really, really small, but I wanted to catch one of those my whole life. I can't believe I just missed it. Oh my gosh, dang it. That's sweet, power of the Ned Rig, baby. There he is. Oh my goodness, rock bass. Multi-species kind of day, folks. You gotta love it, you gotta love it. Everything loves a good old Ned Rig. We all can agree. Oh my goodness, I'm getting into the willow. Whoa. Little meatball. Today is gonna be one of those days. I can feel it. Minimalist fishing, man. Maybe that's what I need to do more often. There he is. He feels big. He's not bad. He wants to be big. Oh my goodness gracious. What is the deal with these fish? They're nuts. He's peeing, he's peeing people. He's got a messed up upper jaw. Oh my goodness. Look at that fish's nose, all screwed up. Post spawn fish, a little ugly, but I tell you what, beautiful and it fought hard. I can't complain about that. Oh my goodness, it's too automatic. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, people. Is this one of them? It is, it's a tiger muskie, it's a tiger muskie. Gosh, dang it. Those fish, I don't wanna get a tooth in my face. And so I'm trying to be careful, but at the same time, they thrash like crazy. And they've got, it's, these are tiny tiger muskie. They're very, very young, I'm pretty sure. So I think they were freshly stocked. Their mouth isn't big enough to where I'm not getting a great hook in them. Very disappointed right now that I can't land them, but you know what? It's pretty cool nonetheless, hook, hooking into them. Very neat stuff. Ned Rig catches everything, my friends. And there's so many small bluegill swimming around about the size of my bait. So this is so realistic. There's a fish, he's on the drop off and he is tiny. He is fun and he is festive and he is what I'm looking for. You're still a great, beautiful fish and I love you. Little guys, little guys need catching too. All right, 
quick update on the minimalist fishing challenge. i'm having the time of my life, people. this is way too fun. the fish are biting really aggressively. the net rig was the perfect bait to bring. this color was the perfect color to choose. honestly, i don't even know that i needed to bring any tackle at all. i could have literally brought this set up and that's it. but regardless, let's keep casting and blasting and see if we can find ourselves a bigger fish. that's actually a fish. i thought that was grass. it's literally a fish. Not a big one, but it's a fish. I think it's time to go find a bigger fish. Oh, shoot. He hammered it. There, got him. That was so weird. Wow, these bass are fighting so hard today, people. Wow, he's not very big, but he is just fighting so hard. Man, got him right in the face. Pegged him. That perfect perch color, man, it's paying off. Beautiful little fish. Love it. Oh, there's a, there's two of them. Cruisers, baby, cruisers. Got him. I saw him flare his gills. <laughs> oh my gosh, why do I keep losing fish? I don't know if my hook might be getting dull. It must be what it is, because I've been using this hook for a long time. I've caught a lot of fish on it. Man, I hope this rain doesn't stick around. in the rain. It's raining. You obviously have terrible audio and video right now, but I tell you what, got another one. They said 12 o'clock, not even 10 yet, and it's raining. <laughs> they lied to me. This jig head's trashed. I need to put on a new jig head. My goodness. Oh my gosh. This is a torrential downpour right now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> There's a fish. Come on. There we go. In the middle of the rain. Finally got one to bite. Not a bad one. He's a little meatball. He's fat. Get in here. Minimalist fishing. No net. Makes things a little harder. Oh goodness. He might shake that. He might shake that. Say ah. Boom shakalaka. Hey, the rain's kind of calming down. I wonder if I'll be able to keep fishing. Don't mind the rain that's on my lens. Guess what? We just caught a fish and the rain stopped. So this fish is good luck. Back to the water she goes. You know what? I just got poured on. The rain's still going. I don't really care. I'm gonna fish around a little bit longer. Why not? I'm already soaking wet. And then I'm gonna go back because I can't do this all day. As much fun as it is, it's probably not worth it. And honestly, I have a lot of things to get done today anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm sure my audio and video is terrible, so thank you so very much for sticking with me. Let's see if we can find ourselves a big one. You and me gone fishing in the rain, line our backs and throwing that rigs till the cool grass grows. I'm thinking this bank is too steep. So what I'm gonna do is go find a little bit shallower bank with less of a drop off, more taper to it, and I will probably find more fish. Lay down the buggy and play that funky music tell you. There he is, up in the brush pile. Uh, play that funky music tell you. Oh, you die. Tell you die. There he is. No, he's trying to jump. There we go. Redemption bass. Yeah, I might not be big, but you're redemption bass. And you just slapped my leg. Not cool, man. Okay, whoa, looky there. Guys, look at this. See what's down his throat? I'm sorry for taking your food. There's plenty of more for you to eat. Look at that little tail. It's gotta be like a little bluegill tail, tail or something. That's crazy. All right, buddy, you can have it back. All right, there you go, bud. Woo! Goes to show you, they're eating little bait fish. This is a spot where I could totally see myself catching like four fish in one little area. There's a bite, got him. Another one, back-to-back -back casts. Man, they are jumping and thrashing. No wonder I'm losing a bunch of fish. Redemption, baby, redemption. <laughs> Not very big, but it's redemption. All right, there you go, bud. I didn't even get to show you to the camera. Man, they're thrashing like crazy today. It's a lot of fun, y'all. You think we can go three casts in a row? I think there's a group of them feeding right here. I think we can go three casts in a row. This is the perfect bank. Basically, shallow, a lot of bluegill beds, a lot of perch, small fish. Grass bed, fish. Very consistent area, uh, especially for the spring. It's a really great spring and early summer bank. 
Well, we can't go three casts in a row, but we probably can go two for four because that cast is gonna produce. Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness. They're so aggressive. I don't think he's very big, but they are aggressive. Wait a tick. He's a fatty. For a small fish, he's a fat one. They are so crazy today. Boom shakalaka. Pegged him. Right in the roof of the mouth, buddy. Look at how football-esque this fish is. Holy cannoli. He's a fatty for how small he is. I've made a total of four casts here, and I've caught three fish. I'd say those numbers are pretty good. Ned rig continues to prevail. Look at this belly. A little football. You're not very long, buddy, but you're a football. Play ball! Golly, the minimalist challenge is so fun. I'm having the time of my life. Okay, shut up, Ethan. I'm a strange cat, y'all. I am a very strange cat. All right. Whoa, somebody's calling me. What's going on? What am I supposed to do? Cast my Ned rig, then answer the phone. That's the rules. Here we go, let's go. Dan. Yo, Dan, what's up? I'm on the lake, I'm getting rained on, and I'm catching fish. <laughs> Say hello to YouTube. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> You're in a little kangaroo pouch. Can you hear me? Yeah. Sounds like you're underwater, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. There he is. Wow, he is running. He is running. Nice, nice. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> okay, keep talking, cheerleader. Hey, it's my one of my bigger fish of the day. Come on, get up here, buddy. Man, they are fighting so... <laughs> Dan's like going crazy. This fish is a nut job. He's not even that big, but he choked it. Oh my goodness gracious, gravy. Boom shakalaka. Can we get a boom shakalaka from my folks? Hey, get me one, Dan. I need a boom, boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, boom. <laughs> Got it. All right, buddy. Wow, he is a fighter. Not a bad little fish. Thanks, Dan, for talking to me on the phone and allowing me You're to catch welcome. that fish. <laughs> You're welcome. I didn't teach you that fish. You're welcome. Great job. <laughs> oh, there's a bite. Oh, he's so small. What is this? He's a dink and a half. This is a little Dan. <laughs> it's a little Dan fish right here. I know. Hey, do better. hey, Dan, what do you think of this fish? Eh, it's pretty small. Usually uh, you catch a little bit bigger than that, but this is pretty normal for the size you do catch all year. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. A bit There's another one. Oh my goodness. He was running with it. You know what that huge. means? <laughs> it's not huge, but it's not bad. It's very healthy. It's a beautiful fish. Man, they're fighting like crazy, crazy. Wow! <laughs> gotcha. He's peeing. They're all peeing on me, dude. Oh my. Yeah, that's normal this time of the year with the uh, hydrogenic pressure uh, pushing down some of the clouds. We got to squeeze in the pee out of the fish. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This fish. This fish was a crazy man. He's not big, but they're so healthy and they're fighting so hard. Dan, what do you think? Um, today's been an awesome day. We have a little bit of uh, rain coming through. We're fishing the old Ned Rig. I've got one rod and one reel. So okay, okay. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I apologize for the fact that my lens is all covered with water and the audio is probably trash, but that's just part of fishing in the rain, I suppose. I agree, Ethan. Back to you, Ethan. <laughs> Here's the thing, folks. Like, Dan and I have basically a call every Sunday because he lives out in Wyoming, as many of you may know. He's the one that I fished with in the, the Fly West series. He happened to call me while I was fishing, and it's like, I'm not going to be rude and not answer the guy. I would rather talk to him. He's one of my buddies. So here we are, you know? Why not talk on the phone while also shooting a video, catching fish? It's... I like to multitask. Oh, there we go. Boom shakalaka. Thick mama juicy. Thick mama juicy coming. Woo! Big mama juicy. <laughs> He's not even big. It's just literally they're fighting so hard. They are fighting. No oh, Kate, okay, that works. Easy. do better Easy release. Easy release. Catch and release, guys. Catch and release. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> One more cast while you're on the phone. I want to see if you're producing any more good luck. Okay, just tap it in. There he is. Boom! Oh. Dude, this place is so crazy right now. These fish are it's nuts. Stacked with bluegill. It is stacked with bluegill, but we're bass fishing today, baby. Folks at home, folks at home. Dad gonna stir. He's gonna get. He's probably gonna pop off right here. Oh. Yep, he did. I knew he would. Anyways, have a great rest of the day in Wyoming, and we'll probably talk to you in a week. Yeah, I will talk to you in a week, guy. Tell y'all what, it was nice talking to Dan. Um, 
Didn't really expect to talk to Dan while filming today, but that was funny. Either way, I think there really is something to only bringing one type of bait. What it allows you to do is really try to gain confidence in it. So what I'll probably do soon is maybe do the, oh my goodness, maybe do the exact same thing with like a big swim bait. Oh, wow, he jumped high. Oh goodness, he's coming right at me. Try to catch up with him, boom. Man, these fish are jumping. I need to do this exact same challenge though with just swim baits. Try to gain some more confidence in them. Is he gonna try to shake it? He probably will, got him, got him. Man, look how fat that fish is, y'all. And he just peed on me, oh well. People, this is amazing, I'm crushing these fish. Look how fat he is too. They've been just chomping bluegill all day. Let's look in his mouth, nothing showing. I mean, I know we haven't found anything giant today, but they've all been healthy and they're fighting super hard. I don't even wanna know what a five pounder would do. It'd probably destroy me. There's another one. My goodness, my goodness, people. This is disgusting how many fish there are. <laughs> they are so actively feeding on this day. Gotcha. Peeing again. Why are they all peeing? This is weird. Oh my goodness. Man, a little football yet again. Another little football. There you go, buddy. I have so much confidence and every single cast is gonna produce like that. <laughs> it's so funny. Man, they are fighting so hard. I can't say it enough times. These fish are just absolutely nutty. Okay, that works, that works. Another one. Decent, decent. Get up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, He's, if I wasn't soaked already, I would have been after that. Man, they're thrashing, gotcha. Best fish of the day, 100% the best fish of the day. I'll take that any day of the week. Look at how he choked that bait, yes. I'll take that fish any day of the week. Look how long it is, pretty decent size, pretty decent size, I love it. Definitely the best fish of the day. Today's been a good day. That was dope. That was a sweet jump. It's so hard to leave when the fish are biting this good. Another one. Man, just firepower, baby. <sighs> crushing them, crushing them. Let's go. It's probably gonna start pouring again here in a second, so. There he's back. I knew that was gonna happen. That's happened no numerous times today. Whew, he jumped in the boat. <laughs> he, hey, don't slap me. <laughs> He's peeing on me. This fish does not like me. <laughs> oh, that was funny. He slapped me with his tail and then he peed on me. Not a very nice fish, but I tell you what, I'd probably do the same thing if someone hooked me. I'd pee on them and I'd slap them too. Okay, okay, you can go back. <laughs> I don't know what I've been told. Throwing Ned rigs never gets old. Catching big old largemouth bass. It is always a blast. Okay, folks, that's gonna do it for today's minimalist fishing challenge. I need to get back before it starts downpouring again. Anyways, today was a great day. I would definitely suggest that you, you know, make it simple on yourself next time you go out. Just take one rod, a couple baits, and just see what you can do. Today it worked, and uh, I'll probably be doing this again in the near future. Regardless, if you wanna watch more videos on the Ned rig, Click right there, you know the drill, and we'll catch you over there.